Hey again guys and welcome to your ninth Backbone.js tutorial. This is Victor and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to use the Backbone render function. The Backbone render function is made to display things on your website on the fly and this is usually done with a templating function that was made inside underscore dot js so let's dive a little bit deeper into that and teach you how to use render and the tem templating function function that underscore js provides the first thing we need to do is go to our index.html file now let's create our script that will be rendered by our templating function we can write script and then we can write um, type is equal to text slash template and then we can do an ID of I don't know our template and don't worry if you don't understand this right now I will explain all of it in a few seconds Okay, inside this script, we are going to write the HTML that we want to put inside our page. For example, in my case, I want to put a span that says, hello, span, another span that says, mommy and daddy. And then a div that says, I love cake with cheese and macaroni. Who doesn't like that kind of cake after all? So we close the div. And now we have our template that we want to add onto our page. Remember, this is very important to have this right here, text slash template and an ID which is in this case our template. Now all we have to do is go back to our JavaScript file which is our JavaScript.js and we can create a render function within our view. So we type render it is a function we miss a comma right here and down with, now within this render function all we have to do is write var template is equal to underscore dot template and remember this is an underscore dot js function after that we can write with a jQuery selector or a jQuery object we can do select our ID which was our template And then all we have to do is type dot HTML because we are looking for the contents within this script tag. We need a semicolon right here. Oh wait, that's not it. I'm sorry. After this, we need a comma and we need some empty curly braces. And then here you can put some optional parameters, but for now, let's not care about it now we close with a semicolon and then after that all we have to do is append onto our el tag which i haven't added so let's add this right here and here we are going to put what we want to append this template to in our case we want to append it to the div unique so to do that we do el we need our jQuery, which is unique. Cool. Now that we have our el tag, we can do this dot the jQuery object el dot html because we want to add this template, this template onto the el html. So we pass as a parameter template. And now, 
what's going to happen is that the view is going to get created. We are going to tell the view that its tag to attach to is going to be div with an ID of unique. unique. Now we are going to be initialized and then here we need to call render. To call render we do this dot render. Render is going to be called. The underscore templating function is going to look for the our template ID within our page, look for its HTML and it's going to compile it into something that can be appended onto our EL tag. So in here we have the compiled stuff, we put it into our template variable and then we append it onto our EL which is our unique tag. Now let's see what happens. We go to our page, we refresh and nothing happened. And let me check why and I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so I'm back and I figured out what my mistake was. My mistake was that I didn't press the freaking refresh button hard enough. So it didn't work, but now it works. It says, hello, mommy and daddy. I love cake with cheese and macaroni. And here is our template. Span hello, span mommy and daddy with a div of I love cake with cheese and macaroni. And we add the template onto the div ID unique. Let's go over this one more time because this is a hard concept to grasp, I think. We pass into the view our EL attributes. And this EL attribute is going to contain the jQuery object referencing something that has the ID of unique. Now, once the view is created, we're going to go into our initialize function. The initialize function is going to call render. Render is going to access the function template that is located within our underscore.js. Template is going to take two parameters. First, the ID to search for that contains the template we're gonna want its HTML contents and the second parameter is its uh, some optional options I know that sounds weird but don't try to understand it too hard for now you can do more research on your own later if you want we are gonna put the compiled version of what our underscore template gets inside of template and then our template we are gonna put it inside the EL element which was our div ID unique. Cool. So I hope you guys understood that. If you don't understand that, that's fine. Just go through this tutorial as long as it takes you. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.